My life is different these days. First black woman to represent Missouri in Congress. Bush just toppled a 52-year political dynasty. You were unhomed, you, you're a mother of two kids, and you, you've shared being a survivor of sexual assault. My story is unusual in the halls of Congress, but it's what so many of us face every day here in St. Louis. I was working as a nurse when Michael Brown Jr. was murdered in Ferguson. It lit something inside. I showed up to protest and started taking care of people who were tear gassed, who were beaten, who were shot with rubber bullets. When I see someone suffering, it doesn't feel like a choice to me. It's what I have to do. Too many people in St. Louis bear the trauma of eviction. I've been there. I know that pain. The way I see it is when Cori Bush said, wait a minute. I know what this is like. She spoke from the heart. When we elect leaders who come from our communities, who've lived the same struggles that so many across our country live every day, anything is possible. Look at what we did in less than a year. The House has just passed President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief package forcing the EPA to finally clean up the radioactive waste in Coldwater Creek. We introduced the People's Response Act and the Green New Deal for Cities. All of that is just the beginning. Corporate special interests, they're gonna keep coming after us. They'll say we don't deserve a seat at the table. They'll say we're too radical. It's because they're scared. But they're not just scared of me. They're scared of our movement because we've already shown our power. I'm running for re-election to the U.S. Congress because Congress should have people who come from our communities, who have actually lived our struggles, who have marched in our streets. So join me. When we come together, not even the sky is our limit.